the soon-to-be obsolete third-generation Mazda MX-5, breathed upon by Mazda tuning experts BBR. Unlike BBR's usual turbocharged conversions, the rare MX-5 Le Mans of 1991 was BBR's work, the Super 200 is naturally aspirated. As its name suggests, the Super 200 lifts the 2-liter car's output from 158 bhp to 200 bhp, delivered at 7450 revolutions per minute. Actually it's 201 bhp, but that wouldn't make for quite such a snappy name. There's an equally useful gain of 27 pounds feet, elevating peak torque to 166 pounds feet but lowering the revs at which it arrives minus 4000 revolutions per minute instead of 5000. It all promises to make the MX-5 feel more urgent more at the time. The improvements come from a blend of old school tuning, air filter, exhaust manifold and a reprofiled cams, together with a bespoke remap. At 2634 pounds fitted it comes at a price but a not unreasonable one given the gains and work involved. This demo car also features BBR's 2.5 inches manifold back sports exhaust. Fitted with an integrated sports catalyst it gains a further 6 bhp and 5 pounds feet and costs 745 pounds. BBR's suspension, wheel and tire upgrades complete the package, but they also come separately. The result is an MX-5 that looks, sounds, handles and goes like it means it. The stance is so right without looking too extreme, the soundtrack pleasingly for by without being offensive or fatiguing. The ride is firm, but there's compliance and control that gives you a much greater feeling of connection. Most importantly the handling is sharper and more precise, but more entertaining, too. There's strong grip, but it's naturally malleable so you don't need to do crazy things to provoke the little Mazda into doing what a small rear-drive sports car should, nor do you need lightning reactions to catch it.